Greetings, Air General. I have a new assignment for you. I trust you are prepared. Our plan to divide the Allied armies is nearly complete, but one final objective remains for you to accomplish. You must advance to the English Channel, seizing at least four objectives to ensure the Allied lines are completely severed. Although the French forces and their allies are reeling, they are far from defeated. You should anticipate at least one serious counterattack aimed at halting your advance, so advance with caution. Good luck, Air General. The end is nearly in sight. Hmm. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> do I have the exit hex here? I've been, well, not super di diligent, but all right. I'm in. I've never done this scenario. One thirty-two. Yeah, I'll spend the eight. It's always a shame because you have to pay for the trucks too. I got these last mission. And. It's a shame really because they're very close to two stars but the one of the difficulties i guess for napoleon mode where you can only deploy one unit of a specific class is that ultimately you're always going to have to engage enemy fighters with your fighter bombers and you're just always going to get an excessive amount of damage and stuff like that on them i think the air war is generally the toughest part of this a challenge because you just have so little variation in air forces at the start um, I believe also for 41 for example that's the first time we'll get a s second bomber or a second fighter start 41 so I have to play entire 40 1940 with just one fighter and I believe I have to play entire 1941 with only two fighters uh, whereas normally you would get four or five to deploy. It's rough like that. Um, yeah, there was this shit. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to disband this thing. Because I have a chance. I feel like with artillery, you can just go and buy new ones. So, too bad. I'll get a new hero on it, probably. But anything is better than spotting. Even if I get a plus one defense, that would be better. So, um, because then at least I can, you know, turn it into a Stug or something, get them onto the front lines. But that's not even what... I can do here. <laughs> These things always take so much damage. I mean, it's my own fault. Elites, it is. All right, let's get to deploying here. All right, here in Reims, after the deployment of my forces, um, what I've done is basically just uh, uh, repaired everything with regulars or elites, as might be possible. Um, I'll basically be over-strengthening these guys, uh, the SE units every single time whenever i can of course um so what is the overall plan so these forces 
Gonna break through here, grabbing the hexa the cities and moving upon Grand Filier. Expecting the enemy counteroffensives. These guys are gonna uh, well basically they will move from here and these guys will move from here with a pincer attack on Amiens while these guys will stay Grand Filier. So basically I'll be assaulting that position from two sides in a flanking maneuver. Um, the British will be up here, so that's interesting around Upfield. Uh, we'll have to go and take it with some of these forces as well. Uh, while the rest of these forces, after the French counterattack, will continue along, moving up here and basically down here. So that will pretty much be the plan. Hmm. What, um, one thing that I wanted to discuss, and which basically uh, has to deal with the rules. So, one thing that's, I guess, kind of tricky in a sense is that. Um, you're supposed to accept your first heroes and that's all well and fine but then also you are allowed to buy more units of the same type in order to prepare for upgrading them later on and um, one of the things that's interesting about this Napoleon mode is that Basically, at some point, some of your units are going to get to become obsolete. Say, for example, the Panzer ones that I previously sold. And what might happen is if, say, one of those Panzer three ones would have gotten a plus three attack hero, then one hundred percent I would have upgraded that Panzer one to a Panzer three, regardless of the the experience cost, because the hero is just too good to abandon it. But if they get a poor hero, say, whatever, spotting plus one, or something like this, um, or movement plus one, which I also don't think is super great on tanks, but if they get something like that, then you're inclined to go and sell it and buy a new Panzer III when you're going to use them in the hopes of actually getting a good hero on them. So you're already kind of hero farming in a certain sense that the obsolete units will either be sold or just be in your core forever um, based on whether they will get good heroes and that is one thing secondly is that once you actually do get a bad hero there is basically nothing from preventing you in a sense of just buying a new one of these and basically waiting for an upgrade that might potentially help you uh, later on. So this as uh, spotting, but I would not use it on a regular artillery. If I were to use spotting on an artillery, I would definitely want to get it on a Stug um, so that they can still see if there's something behind a city, like in terms of artillery or something, but if you're getting close. So then I'm already inclined to just keep it in my reserve until I potentially have enough prestige to make this into the unit that I want, while at the same time already buying a fresh one, hoping for a better hero for the unit that it's on. And that's something that I've done before as well with the Wehrmacht infantry, where the Wehrmacht infantry that got plus one um, movement, I changed it into a Pioneer and also another one into a Grenadier. And this way I got the heroes on the units that I want. And that is something that is obviously according to the, the rules in a sense I mean, they're good heroes now, so I wanted to keep the unit anyway. But the idea is that, you know, you 
make the best use out of your heroes and in a sense that also means that you want to get your heroes on the units that suits them best and for example in this case getting a spotting hero like I don't think that a 15 centimeter artillery is best suited for a spotting hero I think it's a different unit the only problem is that this spotting hero is so bad that I am very disinclined to spend another 500 prestige, 530 or something, to eventually upgrade it to a Stuck 3B. Because you're running so low on prestige in this playthrough with double Rommel and the other limitations that you're just always going to be starved for prestige. Now, I don't have 500 prestige to to spend on a subpar unit of which I'd rather have another chance of a random random hero. Um, so I'm going to keep it for now, but if I at some point need prestige, then I'm very inclined to sell it because I don't want to use this unit. Um, it is rather poor. And that way uh, I might do away with it uh, eventually. But we'll see how that goes. I just think that whenever you're making rules, you should always look at what people's incentives are because people think in terms of incentives and not necessarily in terms of um, can I uh, or do I need to abide by these rules so if there is an incentive for me to not use this artillery I'm going to think of a way within the rules to not use this artillery because that's my incentive my incentive is to get a, as good a core as possible because the game is hard enough with these limitations as it is i need every potential advantage over the enemy that i can get within the confines of the restrictions that are put upon me uh, i mean willingly of course but um, and that means that because my incentive is such that i will want to get rid of this i will probably eventually just do it i see just this more or less as a piggy bank for prestige at this point and most likely i'm, I'm going to sell it. i don't need to now so there is technically a chance that it's going to turn into a stuck 3b because that would technically be the best outcome for me keeping or using this still but the chances are slim to none. It's very likely that something else will come along and then I will use it for prestige. For example, say that I were to get a, whatever, a very good secondary hero on some unit or, um, if I, for example, were to get, um, I don't know, like a movement hero on this puck, and I need prestige because I want to buy a second pack. Then you know I'm gonna sell this thing already because I already feel like it's being put to better use, giving me the ample prestige that I already have, or complementing the ample prestige that I already have, than to just keeping it around with something that I don't really feel like using that much. And there are obvious limitations to this. Like I I can't go and buy five infantry and keep rotating them all around because we're getting so much experience and you know keep selling them off one by one once they get a bad hero unfortunately the restrictions of the game prevent me from doing this uh, or the limitations put upon me prevent me from doing this on any large scale and i have to accept most of the heroes that i get this plus one attack here on a Gebirgsjager? Yeah, I'm definitely not getting a new Gebirgsjager. Um, you know, there's really nothing there. Plus one initiative on the infantry? Yeah, I'm definitely not getting a fresh infantry because I have a plus one initiative hero. I just don't have the prestige and the experience is too slow for me to buy new units. So I just can't do that. Um, so I, I think that whatever, whenever such an opportunity arises, this comes up so little or it's so rare 
that I might have an opportunity to switch this up um, that I, I do think also that within the confines of the, the restrictions, it's really not that big of a deal. And uh, well, that's just my two cents about those rules. So the rules that you have to accept first heroes, but then since you are allowed to buy new units, like if you cannot buy any new units besides the first one of a type that you have, then it's tough luck. Like if I'm only allowed to buy one instance of any particular unit, then and, and only when it's available, then obviously I cannot change this. There's no way for me to do that because I'm only allowed to buy one 15 centimeter uh, SFH 18. And that's just where it stops. I, I have to use it at that point. Um, but apparently because you're allowed to buy multiple units of it, that's basically where that comes in anyway. Um, anyway, that's just my, my two cents here about those rules. So I think the, the rule should either be, be you can only buy one instance of every particular model or, or of every variant. Um, so then indeed I cannot buy any new units and you can't switch them or you should just I guess in a sense allow people to sell units that they don't really want to use anymore because of certain heroes because it comes up very little that you actually don't want to keep it you just kind of have no choice all right well that's it so that was the deployment phase here with a little bit of a, a talk about that all right let's get started and take a look here first That was pathetic. Still. Hmm. Not too great there. Very surprised about the uh, chance for the enemy there, but uh, right. one, two, three, four, five. Let's move these. Uh, yeah, the problem is the artillery. Because I cannot. Yeah, poop.
That certainly does not aid me. Moving it down is completely useless now. I should have put it here or here. So at least it could have gone down and attacked something. But now it's completely useless. And now I, I'd need to keep it up here pretty much. One, two, three, but they're not never gonna put something in there. One, two, three, yeah. Sad really. Yeah, that's actually not great. Pretty bad start, actually. Not, not excited. Yeah, but much I can do I guess are you let's see the uh, three initiative also three Push you here. Okay. That's better, I guess. Trying to get this thing into a forest hex from where I am. Would be exceedingly risky. And I have only one artillery. That make, makes things a whole lot easier. Mm. 
The three is problematic because it means I can't kill it. <clears throat> Vision of two, huh? Really? Oh, and seven? Four times eleven. Yeah, that ain't working. And basically what would happen is its trajectory would be like this. So it would go up like this and then here. So I can't ambush it because this thing is in a way. Uh, maybe here. But that is extremely risky. I do not recommend doing that at home. Uh, this is also not... Not, not great. Um, Well, that's not so bad. Finishing off the hurricane. And what their other fighter repairing means that at least for turn replay. could expose myself to anti-aircraft fire or I could try to go for Leo. Things for sure the Renault can be easily disposed of this way. And fish of one. Preferably, I'll push them down in there. To then be taken care of by some infantry. Or something else that doesn't matter too much.
though They are not gonna die like that necessarily. Yeah, I might take a hit from this. Take the town. Start with that. Okay, good, good, good. You're down to us. A bit sad that both of them is gonna take a loss against the Renault. What is your loss? Okay, two times thirty-one. Also two times thirty one. Oh uh, which unit is cheaper? Two thirty two three fifty nine. now and to do this let's take a look here first Need to lure that down, but I can not do that yet. Cause yeah.
useful would you be up there? Not necessarily the most useful, I think. At least not for the moment. Oh, whoa. What the heck? Oh, I got pretty lucky there. Where did that come from? Probably it came from down there. I'm very happy though to not get immediately demolished for that. Also, the Panzer Jaeger held its, its own quite well against a cavalry. Uh, carry didn't have that many attacks in because of its low initiative. Right, the main problem, in a sense, is that we know that the fighter is going to be back. So if I do bomb things, I need to be 100% sure it's not going to be visible. Let's start with the Hotchkiss. suppose a pretty reasonable surrender and Yeah, I would need to position myself for an attack towards that. I cannot do it like this now. At least allows me to refuel you. Get everything out of sight. One thing I could do though, and that's try to set a trap. If the only thing the AI can see is going to be this. Uh, 
and that's okay. And I'm very curious to see what the ultimate attack will be. Oh, and three, huh? I can move to a hexes. I don't mind doing this. Because it does open that up. The only problem that I have here is if they do get to see that. They'll have vision of two. I need to protect myself. <clears throat> and then with some luck, the turn after that, I can start bombing away. This would already be nice, but... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. You do have only vision of one. That fighter felt exactly into my trap. Which is good. to expose myself a little bit. I can't remain passive. Yeah. Not do anything. Eleven one. I need a cavalry up front to attack this again on the next turn and then pull back. likely to be able to attack that but vision one I... 
These guys aren't visible, so you're... Vision one. Good thing they can't see this. Eesh. They can't see them. Ah, poop. Ah, oh, it's the heavy caliber too. Let's mm, think. Mm Are, huh? Only fourteen percent kill chance for my Panzer Four. There are a bit more easy pickings for my infantry, but they go. Bad beats. Okay, second time's the charm. Guess not. That artillery has done more damage than any of these tanks combined. They somehow always seem to hit. It's uh, rough out there. If only I knew whether this unit was static, I could surrender to Matilda. But... That is exceptionally risky. To do what to do. There is no chance of me taking out the anti aircraft since I cannot get close enough. 
you're just pathetic. Dealing with one artillery is nice. But it hardly gave me the breakthrough that I needed. There's still a three. In this case, it's more about pushing them there, though, than anything else, in order to also at least finish off these. And I need these to do that and then fall back as one, two, three, and then four, so. I'm going to do. Do that. Kill you. Then move back. Yeah, that was well worth it. Huh. Plus three defense here, huh? That's not too bad, I guess. Giving you replacements. Yeah. Even though there's still this artillery now, there's a gap in the defenses that is ready to be exploited for the next turn. The only way I can get artillery coverage, yes. If that's pretty risky. Yes, I would need to move you there, and they need to be 
killed. If they would go down then, which they're not likely to do. This is a bit risky, but... And I have the cavalry without artillery backup. Which, like I said, is pretty risky here. Also this fighter, but I have no targets. So yeah. It did go down, but hmm. Well. Wow. They made that even easier for me. This guy's having a bit of a rough time though. Take that risk there. Not really solvable by any other means. Necessary. Going in here and putting the artillery there is pretty risky. Because it means I need coverage from both of those sides, but I think that's fine. Oh, and four is exactly what I need. Who isn't though? Ooh. Next. Yeah, you can technically go there, so that that's okay. I feel pretty confident with that. Get the infantry. Tricky part is they're going to be out of ammo. Just the 
only part I don't like. Okay, surrender. Okay. This allows me to do this. Ah, too bad. Still, this might entice the anti aircraft to get into here. Yeah, the Falsham Jaeger is the weak link in my defense here right now. If my opponent has something with which to counterattack, they are very vulnerable. I think let's see I think I'm gonna go out like that but I think I'd rather have the cavalry down here because there's much more room to maneuver which I do like funny thing here of course is there A A again. Wow, it's ballsy. But plays right into what I want. Thank you. So it gives these guys a little bit of experience. Lucky for me, they didn't do anything with that Falsham Jaeger. allows me to push up. And actually, rather potentially take a damage on this than anything else. Well, okay, that, yeah, that's good. Okay. Do they have such high soft attack? Five. Huh. Um, question is where do I want to push them? I cannot get in down here. But I can push them here or up. Mm. It's also a matter of where I want to get XP on, which is not necessarily bad on the Flock. It will get to two stars of experience again. I think I had it at two stars before too, but not sure. It's a shame actually that with this mod I don't get to have another 88 because they're really good. Wanted to say, although I'm not happy about it, which I guess I kind of wasn't. Take the 
tax. Forest, they would need to be eliminated. But I think they can fight back, yeah. Only strategic bombers would be able to seal the deal. Yeah, it just sucks, but. Okay. They might even try to attack the recon, which I would also like. That would be pretty good for me. Pretty good. Seems like I'll only be able to eliminate or not even the heavy weapons this time. No. Hmm. Thing is, though, I'd rather not have them repair, but I'm also not going to do that. Back after a little break. However, the loss of anti air has left my opponent dangerously exposed. At least when it comes to entrenching. The entrance of this. Um, just see how good that is. Eight three. That's not good enough. I think. <clears throat> that wasn't my intention. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. The RNG wants to save me, then <laughs> they can be my guest. Let's 
still. I can't just let myself be dangerously exposed to enemy counterattack. So I should start to prepare my defenses also here. And I need to make sure that my vulnerable units Not needlessly exposed and the yeah, air doesn't matter if they damage a crowd schutzen, but if they deal three damage to a panzer, that's gonna be a bit more problematic. These guys are in a good spot for surrender, but the problem is that I just don't have There is the enemy counterattack now. There are quite a few units that need to back off. Also a significant number of units that still needs to get fuel and ammo. You are in a pretty reasonable spot there. Yeah, they would have to come from down there or through here. I don't think they can reach this. Only thing that's not protected here really is the stroke. I should have put it here actually. Can 
probably leave you here at least for a turn. Ah, oh, poop. God damn it. Well, at least I got them. Ah, oh, they got there real fast. Really? Sometimes it doesn't really matter what you do, the game will just screw you over anyway. The unfortunate business there is that no. I'm not gonna take any chances with the fire. Never mind, I am gonna take my chances with the fighter apparently. Nineteen, yeah. At least it means my air units now can come out to play. Just start getting <laughs> uh, into that kind of mode, you're bound to start getting frustrated, and it's not a place where I want to be. That is not the place that I want to be. Especially since things were going relatively well till now. Don't really feel it's necessary to try and bomb the hunch kisses. I also need to get out the storm panzer.
so they might feel like they're in a bit of a stormy weather. Problem is for me that these guys are exposed here, dangerously so. I have to say that these uh, are generally quite fine. Yeah, I, I know what to do here. The bomber needs to keep f needs to keep focusing on that. I can deal with it. If I attack these, it'll push them down and I can maybe push up to surrender these. That's not good enough. Neither is that. The only artillery that I have left is this one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't see how it's going to work out like that. But 
let's see. This is pretty vulnerable. I could have used these. Hmm. But I think based on that. Could also make some pretty good surrenders. On the next turn. they have pretty high defense. That is some impressive movement that I am surprised an AI makes. Pulling units back to attack with other units, that is... Uh, quite an accomplishment. How do they get such poor attacks on these things? Still, there are quite a few enemy units that are now ripe for the picking. Should use the AA first, but it doesn't matter. Not this time. All right, that's one down. That's excellent. Goodbye.
Hey, they also have a char, of course. Well. Let's show it the meaning of pain. Get in a reserve panzer. Or actually the better panzer than the other one, but that's okay. I'm sure you have five movements. These guys cannot move at this stage. I don't think the Panzer Jaeger is going to be that much use in this mission either, so I'm also going to withdraw it. Moving just one artillery isn't going to cut it. I need at least two, I think, to assault that. <clears throat> so for sure... Should I let it go for now? Yeah. Yon, uh, they have one more bomber. So let's get out these at least. I'm not sure when it will be back. So again, I would need to protect my more vulnerable assets if possible. Chose the wrong one. Thought they'd go for the south. Guess not. Luckily, it's my fresh unit. Eighty two, not bad. At least that's uh, nice. very tricky because now I cannot go after the char at least this turn because my fighter is out of ammo. And does mean I can get these guys away too. And I'll get some more strategic bombers in. Now they can also get in there. Do you already have no you don't have a hero? What they 
do have is decent experience. Okay. This is probably an excellent time to start sending some artillery up north. The sad part is I'm feeling pretty confident I can kill another unit. Well, let's just give them fuel and ammo. Not too satisfied about this, but we'll see. Their fuel again is really low. However, Good, they went for the right one. Ooh. Still a lot of damage. Well, at least they will get destroyed like this. They got a chunk of experience. I guess effectively it means I can now start going on to the offensive again. Actually, it makes it easier to surrender these. Let's
Not Bushu, okay. Okay, good. They've only got cavalry left. Effectively. Should mean I can go on to the offensive again. Just taking that. Yeah, it's nice because it also gets rid of those. And even though there's these guys, they're not very likely to go up at this point. I think. Alright, back for the last time. Let's uh, finish this one off. Let's take the hex. You want to an airfield. Let's keep moving. Pretty bad uh, air attacks here. At least we got uh, one in on those guys.
pretty good counterattack though, not gonna lie. Let's go after these. Ten nine, eh? If only they didn't do so much damage when I didn't want them to. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get you out already. You're not necessary. Really, on four, huh? Uh. Okay. Unfortunate business, that. Really? I find it a bit hard to believe, it's, which sounds terrible, but I think that's not the case. Yeah. Well, at least it didn't take any damage there. No luck. Any other bomber left? I don't think I do. I think I used all of them. What I can do... What? Really? You don't have an advantage of initiative? Four to three. Oh, wow. Oh, because of the plus two die roll. Right, right, right. Okay. It was a bit weirded out that I did not actually have any better... Better stuff there. But I guess it makes sense. Yeah, they can't even go out. It's completely useless what I'm doing right now. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Never mind. Just give you a few on Already buying junk. They're 17 out of 24, eh? That double prestige really makes them buy things super early. Can't say I'm a big fan. 
they also did not go out which is doubly bad let's get one of the best bombers we have because I'll need it one movement Let's take care of some easy stuff first up here. Let's see though, 1 times 40, I don't think so. What about this? One Total shots zero. Where, how about the other one then? Total shots zero. Huh. They had total shots zero. What the heck? How did. Huh? I don't also know die rolls. But they did do the attack animation. Super weird. I've never seen this before. <laughs> no die roll, but there is an attack animation, huh? I can't get to it. I do think I can send you away, though, and I probably need to. Man, that was weird. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's... I actually attack with you first. And then the cavalry. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so that way. We can take both of these at the same time. Jump to the next city. This is exposed, unfortunately. But not much can be done. All right. Thing is invincible. <laughs> really invincible. And now I'm gonna probably take damage too. Unfortunate. Yep, like I said, now I'm gonna take damage too. I knew it. It said zero, but I already knew it really wasn't like that. Too predictable game, too predictable. This might shoot me in the leg quite a bit, but at least then, yeah, they'll have double artillery on, or anti-air on that. Do I have any other fighters or bombers? No. This is the fuck. Uh, really? Two times thirty one. 
but if I don't do it, they'll shell me and then attack anyway. <laughs> okay. Jesus, talking about variants. Um. That doesn't help because they won't get any closer because of all the other units clogging the area. I might as well move you down here for the time being. Three damage, that's a fucking joke. It's a good thing I could just give them regular repairs. Because uh, talking about variants, it works both ways. It's, it's 12. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's fine, I guess. Now, the tough part is that there is a lot of anti-air. Um, the way I'm going to need to do it is also quite rough, because not only do I need to shell here, here and that leaves them without any ammo for example but I would guess there's probably slightly less AA well let's uh, let's kill this Too bad, they got really close. Okay. I mean, not only do I need to de-entrench that artillery, I need to deprive it of ammo. <sighs> That's some big ass artillery you got there. Yeah, I'll take the hit here. If I can destroy that, that's perfect. That's very expensive. No luck there, eh? prefer it if they can't buy anything there anymore. Despite the infantry, you also cannot go very far. Ah, fuck you. No, 
I cannot squeeze in between there because of this thing. And I, well, the one thing at least. So I'll also de entrench this. Can you really not get there? No, you cannot. Highly unfortunate business. Well, with an anti-tank right next to it, that suggests the best approach would... I'm just surprised that you cannot get there. Oh, they can't go into that straight? Wow. The sad part is, is that they will be able to shell again. That would get them to one ammo. I'm just, just gonna move you there for now. You need to back off, sadly. Oh shit. One good thing at least is I am able to Keep hitting the artillery, it's now at one ammo. Yeah, I should have really got hammered. And I probably don't even need to do that. Maybe I do. Really? Oh yeah, it's cloudy weather. Um, hmm. shell this it will not be a lot of suppression rather I would like to attack this in order to get its attention or to make sure it has no ammo why 
Why game? Why? <laughs> Come on. I need a few half decent rolls. Not this. Can we just stop taking damage all the fucking time, please? Just every single attack. Okay, so I can't do that one because, yeah, I cannot get close. How to get it to waste the artillery? Man, everything is out of ammo. As well. The only thing that draining their ammo accomplishes is that I can then attack these. One, two, three, four, five. That was quite risky too. What kind of terrain is this countryside? So they should be able to get through here. At which point... Really? I can do that. Of course, well, uh, that's fine. The only problem is, in a sense, there's nothing to move in here. Uh, 
Unless... I do that. Then they cannot buy anything at this hex anymore. However, that still does not solve the problem. Shit. And I cannot move into that hex. Well, the thing is that I don't necessarily need the city. I just need them to not be able to buy anything. And... Getting up to that point is pretty tricky. I'm even a bit afraid that they will just move up, attack my cavalry, and just buy a new unit. Oh, let's see what they do. Oh, wow. Fuck me. That is pretty rough. At the same time, they've seemingly given up on buying things there. Trade it for some juicy experience. So you need fuel and ammo. Just take one step at a time. Um, rather have the sticker there. start using the bombers there now as well and I need to get infantry up there <clears throat> well at least they can no longer buy anything here so everything I kill is dead for good
Let's start working on this. Eight, three. I'd rather I tank them with it, but... These are still tricky. think like this I have them covered I can focus on those engineers I don't know what they're gonna potentially buy there but I'll be okay I think I can deal with it so I also think I should send these up together with these so the only problem is well one two three four five six seven eight yeah, I can go in there and then here, the chance that they'll see that is near zero. At least in terms of being able to act on it. I mean, the only thing I can do here is find this, of course, and move back, I suppose. They're getting the entrenched at a slow pace, but I guess they're pretty low priority. The only thing I can see them do is try to get there like this so yeah I could have just done that oh well what about you though I did say that I rather want to have them up right now, which I do. I'm gonna move them here where they're out of sight anyway. Mm -hmm. Predictable. And then they can buy something new up here. <laughs> 
more artillery. And they can also buy stuff down here, though. That's actually true. <laughs> Which they did. Okay, let's uh, go first with these. To that. That should be okay. So there, there. Get you around. Um. Kill that, okay. Let's go after these. Funny that it started really well, <laughs> but it ended with not the best. Range 1 is quite good because I will change it to a Stug. And that is, I guess, probably the best then. Uh, 8, 7. I can't risk them fleeing. So, And you cannot get in there. So for a surrender, I do need this. Probably giving me gazillion prestige. Yeah, that wasn't that much. Still attacking though. Did it get one star? No. Mm. Well, they can no longer buy units, but. Actually want to put you there. I know they'll take hits, but I'm just gonna give them replacements. So. Nah, I don't need to do that yet. Ballsy. Okay. Um, these guys might actually cross and attack that. They bought a cavalry. Wow. Okay. Um, well. I said, no, I'll take a hit. But I desperately need to get it lower. Hmm. 
Alright, well, let's just say that's good enough. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Absolutely insane. Um, you have only one ammo, so it's also fucked up. I come to six. How to get them de entrenched more? Well, not only do I need to kill this, man, I'm getting. The um, main issue here is actually that cavalry. Because what I'll, I'll get is two units that can cross to, to tackle this. They'll be four, but they can go onto these hexes and cause havoc. I can't really do anything with that because even if I just put you there they're gonna do a lot of damage Let's just go for this now because that's probably the best approach. Um, hmm.
Right. Well, there's only this thing that could potentially attack, say, this. Um, and yeah, let's just make it so they can't repair. That cavalry did not attack. Okay, um, one thing that I could actually see happening is them not dying. No, that's not gonna happen. And the two. Okay, there we go. Doesn't matter if they're not fully suppressed. Take the last goddamn hex. Is, this is good, right? Mm. Any planes? You. Well, I'm gonna push them in there. Well, let's see. Just want to get more experience with the puck here. So, any damage that they can do that might help me even just a little bit. Any more planes? You, which you have no ammo. Begging your pardon, Iron General, sir, but your advance was so successful that our lines of communication have not been able to keep pace and we have lost contact with the General Feldmarshal and High Command. I have a report for you, you of a very significant buildup of Allied troops trapped in the pocket at Dunkirk, but we have not received any new orders on where or how to proceed. What shall we tell the men, sir? Shall we march along Kirk on war or work on restoring our communications and await further orders? Let's advance. <laughs> 